Okay. Gotta go live in a minute. Hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, we are live, hey now, let's get the word out, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. <laughs> uh, there's something wrong with me, I know, but we live. And I am working on getting the word out now. Hey Alice, how's it going? Going mostly all right. Well, cheers. That's a good thing. All right. There enough. Start this EG game today. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to get through the rest of Alba's Awakening. I mean, pretty much at the end, but you know, it might be. It might be hard. <laughs> it might be difficult. I didn't mean to do that, but all right. Arise, Alva. Alva, arise. To me. And the soundtrack that you guys are hearing is sort of announcing the next game after EG, which is going to be Salt and Sanctuary, a game that I've wanted to play for quite some time. But I figured that it would be like, uh, bit of a longer title so I wanted to put in like two shorter titles you know before that which Al was Awakening and uh, EG neither were very long although Al was Awakening took me longer than I expected probably because I did sort of like want to get it you know like a hundred percent sort of thing sometimes I'm like not super into the idea of hundred percenting everything and sometimes I I get into it and I think I get into it mostly when I'm very much really liking the game and I don't want it to stop like because sometimes I'll be like, all right, I'll just do a normal playthrough. 
And then we'll come back, maybe, and do 100%. But then I get, like, into it. You know, it happened with, um... Ooh, that sounds good. Chinese food. Um, Ender Lilies, for example. I became rather obsessive with Ender Lilies, and that game was awesome. One game that I didn't expect to want to get everything in the first time through was Batman Arkham Origins when I did that. Because it was like... You know, like, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, I've done, like, the full, like, get everything runs uh, when I played them on consoles, but playing them for uh, YouTube, I was just like, eh, you know, nobody wants to see all that. I don't want to do that. You know, it's very tedious. But with Arkham Origins, I just felt the urge to do it. It's the only time I've played through the game, and I went and got every tiny little thing that you can get. I did start a new YouTube Let's Play today. Hey, Greg. Yeah, it is kind of a Christmas game, right? Um, do it's Doom. I'll just let you know. Um, so, but it's 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 sort of like Doom and Doom Two. Like, there's a total conversion called uh, Master Edition that was made for PC Doom that makes it like PlayStation Doom. And there's sort of like three parts to it. There's Doom, Doom Two. Um, no, no, not it's not even Doom Two. There's Doom, Final Doom, and Doom sixty four, and Doom is it's like the PC Doom. It's like the PlayStation Doom made for PC though, which is really cool. And I started that today, having fun seeing all the differences and everything, and also just enjoying the unique graphics and especially the sounds that the PlayStation Doom had. You know, all because you sent me that video. Well, I was asking about it. I was asking to see the. So I started that today. Uh, so it'll be like Doom and Doom 2 together, because that's like sort of what PlayStation Doom was. And um, I'll revisit the other two. I don't know quite why Doom 64 was included, but I'm certainly not um, averse to playing that again. It's one of my favorites. You know, classic FPS games is Doom 64, right? But that's, yeah. That's what I started today. We finished up Dragon Quest Eight. I decided to not do like every Dragovian trial. I just got like... Because we had the Argon Ring and everything. I was like, oh, let's just get the ending, you know. Got the, the super good happy ending. Stop Skeletons from Fighting is such a good channel. That's a hell of a name for a channel, right? Um, what else was I going to say about YouTube stuff? Uh, oh, yeah, so I started that, Doom. And then after that, let me just bring it up. Uh, I'm probably going to tackle Blasphemous and then Octopath, right? Those are games that I, I I streamed both of those, but Blasphemous, I didn't get like the best ending because I didn't know how to at the time. And there's been m a bunch of new content for Blasphemous as well, so I might as well do that. And then Octopath, we got like 99% through it. I like, couldn't beat the last boss, and I didn't really want to... I was like ready to move on, so I think I think it'd be fine to try it again you as a YouTube thing, especially since Octopath Traveler 2 like just dropped. So, that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah. But, let's see if anybody can guess. Right? Let's see if you guys know. Or just see who gets the closest. How many parts do you think the Dragon Quest VIII Let's Play was? Octopath 2 dropped out of nowhere. Yeah, it seemed like it, they announced it and then it was there. Right? Like, immediately it was released, almost. Let's see, who who can tell me how, how many parts do you think Dragon Quest VIII was? Keeping in mind that the parts are generally about a half hour long, with a few being longer. On 17. Yeah, I know you got, that's for the new bosses, but I also want to like get like the better ending anyway, so I'll be playing through it from the beginning. Greg, how many, how many parts do you think my Dragon Quest VIII playthrough ran? Alice says 117. Let's see who's closer. About a hundred. Well, give me an exact number. We'll see who's closer. Hmm. Oof. Back has been bothering me today. It's not that bad right now because I just got out of the shower not long ago, and the hot shower always kind of helps. Back problem. 105. Okay. Well, Alice wins that one. It's uh, 123 parts. Make it the second longest Let's Play I've done. I think. 
Hold on, how long was Dragon, Dragon Quest Seven was really long. It might be the third longest. Hold on, let me look. You were you were rather close, yes. Um, because 163 parts was Xenoblade Chronicles. But... Dragon Quest Seven was pretty long. Dragon Quest Seven was actually 118. No, my bison dollars. Throw that in the river where, with uh, where DJ hit the end of the stupid movie. Yeah, so it's actually longer than seven. Probably because seven, I um, I did more off-screen stuff, grinding and whatnot. And with eight, I didn't want to do too much off-screen stuff because I was trying to show all the alchemy. This is pretty rocking. Hey, EB, you excited for some EG after I finish Outlaws Awakening? Which is going to be very soon we're going to start. Yeah, so that's now my, my second longest Let's Play in terms of how many episodes. You know. Which is... There's a few things on here that I'm excited to do for YouTube Let's Plays, though. Uh, but Blasphemous and Octopath have been on my mind recently. Uh, uh, so that's, like, the next two after after the first bit. Because well, I want to do, like, I'll do Doom, then we'll do Blasphemous, then I'll do, like, Final Doom, and then Octopath, and then I'll do, like, Doom 64. Right? Blasphemous 2 is teased? That's cool. I really liked Blasphemous. And I think I'm going to like Salt and Sanctuary for the same reason. Because that's what's up next after EG. Try to get baked on week. Oh, it is Tuesday. Taint, it's not only is it Taint Stop Tuesday, but it's the Wacky Tabacky Tuesday. I'm assuming we are watching it, right? June hasn't said anything otherwise. I'm assuming we're doing it. I'm sure she'll come and let us know. But uh, anyway, guys, let's get started. I'm going to um, play the intro. Let's fade out the music and play the intro. Ah! Yeet! We got to go out. We got to go out. We got to go out. Oh. You can't hide the aroma of flowers. You can with shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire! 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Fire! <laughs> That's exactly what she said. It's something about her ass. I get the feeling, though, she's very lonely. She kept talking about her ass. What the hell? <laughs> you beat me. But now you're going to have to take on the desert route to get the water. Oh, I'm dead as shit. My home planet needs me. Goodbye. Let's uh, go down to my pondo. Teach you the nature of getting quacked out. Fuma's alternate color is fucking whack. He looks like a fucking punk rock banana. Please enter the box. That's what she said. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Come on, are you an ass? You think you could prevent me? You can't stop me. I can't be stopped. Oh, I could be stopped by that, though. Oh, punish me! I got a knife! Oh, I'm a naughty abomination. Hey, now. Final Fantasy Tactics? That was, uh, that was like quite a bit ago, right? Hold on, I can tell you exactly. Let me, um, look at the VODs real quick. Where is Final Fantasy Tactics? Um, unless I've already uploaded in which case I couldn't tell you. I feel like it wasn't that long ago. Let's see, Breath of Fire 3, Spike McF I think I've already uploaded it. Yeah, I mean, it was last year, obviously, but yeah. Um, I had a thought about the weed thing, like, because you're doing the edibles, you're not, like, supposed to smoke right in your building but like you could probably vape right like it was just it'd be like that meme where it's like oh i hate vaping because you smell cotton candy or some shit and it's just brad with his cloud of lies but yeah final fantasy tactics was a fun uh playthrough it's always a great game uh here we go so we got all the orbs we're at 86 percent map 100 percent item the 80 the last bit of map is just like the last bit of the game right all right, so we're gonna make our way left. Do I remember how to play this? <laughs> I gotta remember how to play the game. Uh, I think we gotta do this. Duck. Okay, we're gonna do whoop, one of those. Come on, all right. 
I almost fucked that all the way up, right? Oh, they cracking down on the vape, huh? Oh well. I don't know, I figured it's easy to hide because it might smell like bubblegum or some shit, right? Oh. What the fuck? Now give you eh, Ooh. This dude. Everything's harmful in the long run, right? If you do too much of it. Yes, right. A little weird mini boss there, huh? What would you say the weirdest Castlevania is? Hmm. I gotta give that a bit of thought. Weirdest Castlevania gotta be. Um... It's gotta be like that that second one that was on the N sixty four, right? That's some pretty weird shit. Can I put like that? Yes, I can. All right. Get this guy here. Jo oh yeah, Judgment! I wasn't even thinking of Judgment. Gray's right, Judgment's the weird one. It's a fighting game, right? Oh, dip. I tried to do a little jump, but it didn't work out so great. Alright, I wanna get a little closer before I do this. Hey Moogle, how's it going? You thought the main character was a cat? Wait, let me go look. But the why would you think she's a cat? She doesn't have like cat eyes or cat ears or anything. This looks like it's just gonna be a pain in the ass. Little jump? Okay. Alright, let's see if I can get a little closer than that. Oh god! Uh, well, there goes that. I wonder if I could just make it. Just do like. Oh, yes, we can. Okay, cool. See, Moogle, you're all like, I gotta think about it about Cartoon Club, and I'm like, what? what's there to fucking think about? You just watch cartoons, right? I knew you'd want to- I, I didn't want to watch Zootopia because I can't handle that amount of furriness, but I figured I knew you would want to do it. Alright, so I'm gonna have to get that over here somehow? Oh, I'm gonna have to put it on the platform, I see. Oh, I don't like this. How am I gonna... Oh, I see how I can do it. All right. I still don't like it. Oh, no. <clears throat> Derp. Oh, God, I'm all the way back here, though. Oh god, right, you can't do that? What am I thinking? I think I can make that easily, just wait. Yup! Why would that bother her? I mean, animals are different sizes, right? Well, everybody's got things they're bothered by, right? It's not a big deal. Alright, this technique seems to work pretty well. Oh yeah, because Alice was like, I ain't watching that shit. I'm like, aren't you... Aren't you streaming it? And they're like, ah, I'm gonna be playing Tetris. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, right. Uh... One's going berserk. They win. Big floppa. You know, you, you never know. Like, some people got OCD about certain things. I mean, Tetris is some good shit, right? Yeah, that's another weird thing about it. Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, gotcha. All right. Jump. Little jump. Oh, that's tough to not get hit there. How close am I to the next save? I gotta look at, like... 
Hold on, I had a map. I just want to know how close I am. I'm pretty close. If I can get to the right, or to the left rather, and then up, and then right to the left of that is a, a, a save point. Hey, Ross. Okay, just pop on there. I think I want to get a little closer. Okay. I only want to get a little closer. I, I might have been a bit extreme there. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. I got to get up, which means I got to go to the left and then go up. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, block it. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. Rock and roll, baby. This room seems rough, though. This seems really bad. It's like the White Palace in Hollow Knight. It is kind of like that, you're right. All right, I just want to see how far the over that goes. I also want to know if this falls down or not. It does not, okay, we good. So I'm gonna wait. It is like the White Palace where you, ha you have to use like all of your abilities. Okay, now I gotta get that on that. And I think what I'd want to do is just wait. Don't try to get on there, because it'll be difficult to be on there. Because I think this will push it off, right? Yeah, baby. And now I just get back on it, get over there, and we're, 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 we're good. You can never do the White Palace? I've done it <laughs> several times, including in Steel Soul. It's all memorization. Um, okay, I don't want to fuck this up, so I'm going to just do this. And then, bop, okay. So close to a save point. You finish Meat Boy? Meat Boy's a different kind of um, difficulty, I think. Yeah, Hollow Knight's one of my favorite games of all time, too. All right, as long as I don't land on the spikes, I'm good. Right. We got a save point! Damn it. It's fine. I reached a save point. That's what matters, right? Bug fables? I've heard good things about that. Okay, can I just go across there? Or actually, it looks like. Yeah, there's no way to get across that without getting hurt. Oh, I see what the game wants me to do, and that is evil. So I gotta, like. And then. Oh, I gotta time it exactly right. That's evil game. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. It didn't work? Ah, oh, that's that's tough. Maybe it used to, right? What what happened? Was it just like a no longer in service thing or Yeah, that's what I've heard too, that it's like kinda like a paper Mario. How am I gonna get over there? Oh, I see how to do it, I just don't like it. Pop. Okay, we good, we good, we good. It's like ROM hack level design. I, they call that developer difficulty. Well, I'm dead. For some reason, the spell didn't come out. I might not have. That's okay, though. We, get, we, we hit a save point, so. Alright, so I think the way I want to do it is like this, and then immediately... Got around it. You just gotta time it right. That wouldn't be what I would call timing it right. That's nah, not good. I'm doing it too early. This one's good. Nope. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. It didn't work. Oh, June, I... 
You said June tried it. I thought you said you tried it for some reason. Wait, hold on. Chill. Yeah. Alright, we good, we good. That sucks. Call cannot be completed. No. It probably worked at some point, it just doesn't work now. That was way too early. How did I do this like perfectly and now I can't do it? Alright, this one's looking good. Little jump? Okay. Fuck you. Alright. No. Oh, that's not so bad, actually. This part, this kind of blow, right? Damn it! How the fuck? Oh wait, I know. I know what the problem is. I, it's, I'm, I don't have enough magic, right? So what I should do is create the block, instead of creating the block in the water, and then I have to jump on it, I should create the block and then push it in. That way it gives my mana enough time to replenish. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry, wrong number. I thought you were a meme. Right? <laughs> oh, that was way early. Might be fine, though. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. There's been a bunch of rejection hotlines, I think. So, wait, I don't need to do that. Why am I doing that? Well, I guess... Uh, actually, that's easier than the way I was doing it before. Shit. All right, so create the block first. That way I have enough magic to create a bubble. And right, I got it, okay. All right, I'm um, just looking at the map here. This looks interesting. Dial a joke. I mean, this don't seem bad at all, to be honest. This seems like a really easy room compared to some of the others I've been in. And then I'll just uh, do like this. Okay. Alright, so I can't create bubbles in this room. And I have to get that block down there. It seems doable. But I can't create blocks, so I gotta be, like, mad careful. Wait, how am I gonna get up the- oh, wait, I know. No? Hmm. Because as soon as I do that, it's like... Call and oats? Oh my god, that's... I wish I could crawl. Why can't Elba crawl? Uh... <laughs> So you'd think that you just... Hmm. How in the hell am I getting through this? I'm open to ideas, guys, because I'm not understanding this one. Because you, this is a room that bubbles are just an impossibility. I would have thought pushing this through, but you can only push it so far, you know? It really does, yeah. One nine hundred five 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 joke. That's one nine hundred five 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 joke. Yeah, I'm, I'm examining. Let me see something. It may be possible that that down there that is something that I can walk through. But with that spike there, there's no way for me to... T nah. Yeah, if you look it up, I'd be happy to... If, if somebody looked it up for me, because I'm... I'm close... I'm, I'm not... I'm close to another save point. I don't want to... Oh, God. I'm trying to think about this. Oh, wrong, wrong spell. The only thing I can think of is that maybe some of those blocks can be walked through. 
But there's no way to tell. Anybody got any ideas? That's solid. That's solid. Well, you think you're at that room? Okay. Well, I gotta get back there, but let me know. I'll give you plenty of time to see what the person in the video does. That was the only thing I could really think of, is that maybe there were uh, trick blocks there that you could walk through. Because that is like a pretty common mechanic in this. Okay. At least this room is like pretty fucking trivial. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. As you go forward until he's at a different room, right? Just Hmm. Where I am now jump? What do you mean? Oh. When you first come in oh wait, I can go up in there? Is that what you're saying? Alright, I think that's what you're saying. Hold on. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. All right, and then what I would do is All right. wait. I think I fucked it up. Yeah, I definitely. No, I didn't. Well, I didn't fuck it up permanently, but. I kind of fucked it up. That's not right. Alright. That's a red herring is what that is. Okay. But I can get over here. Alright, I've clearly, like, fucked it up. But I could just leave the room and come back. Think of that, huh? This is what you're intended to do. Okay, so oh, my God, really can't hit that. You know what? I know how to get rid of it. There we go. Okay, now... That is pretty bad design, yeah. Wait, no! Oh! Okay, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. I thought I'd screw that up. All right, we got it. Really? This is what we're doing? All right. This seems trivial. I, I'm like waiting for the other shoe to drop. No, that's completely doable, Greg. All right. All right. Save point. 
All right, and we are at how much percent map here? 89%. Really? Okay. Oh, no. Fucked it up. Do I just go left or do I go up and left? Um. Oh, okay. I see what I gotta do and I kinda don't like it. Alright. This is gonna be funny. That's wild, right? Thank you, baby. How was how is it overall? Oh, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I honestly thought that was going to be way, way, way worse. This is trivial. Okay. I like that they're giving me some easier rooms. Okay. Maybe we'll have to watch that someday. Um. Alright, I see what I must do. i do that. Switch to bubble. Bubble up here. And then... Tiny jump. And then jump. Okay. Trivial. That's easy. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Alright. No bubbles in this room. Actually, this does not seem bad at all. Alright. Get that. Oh, wait. Hold on. Alright. Cool. Whew. All right, so I have to use all my powers in this room. Now, we are once again pretty close to a save, so I don't want to fuck it up. Nope, oh, chill. Okay, and then just zap that and go. All right. Paul Giamatti's fantastic, though. Part of the reason I was kind of surprised that June didn't really like um, American Splendor because it was a strong performance from Giamatti. Okay. Okay, we got it. That's another save point. There's one. There's two more save points. There's one. That's like the next one, kinda, and then there's one right before the boss. His dad was briefly the commissioner of Major League Base. I would never have known that now. I had no idea. <laughs> Alright, jump, and jump. And do one of those kind of jumps. Oh no. Well, I can bubble across that. Yeah. Okay, we good, we good, we good. Alright, this is a no-bubble room. Well, it's good to see him getting awards, because I've always thought he was a good actor, and he gets put into that sort of bubble of being, like, the character actor. Which doesn't mean you're a bad actor, but people don't appreciate character actors as much as they could. I wonder what the po oh, well, I'm gonna need that to get up there because this is a no bubble room. Okay. Oh wait, did I fuck it up already? All right, yeah, I kind of fucked it up. All right, I can I can do this. Pedro Pascal is the reason my mom wanted to watch The Last of Us, and oh, wait, can I even get up there? Oh, I know, I know how to get up there. Um, and I told her, because she's like, you know, I told you you could probably just skip the first episode, right? 
I think it would be good if she just skips it, right? Angel Davos. How am I gonna... I think I just make one big jump, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, but he go down, though. Let me just do that. All right. All right, I gotta go up from here, but I don't know if I want to be on the right side or the left side. I also think I can go to the right because it shows there's something on the map there, so I'd like to try to go to the right if possible. Oh. And it kind of looks like there's a space for it there. Pedro's dad man now? Makes sense to me. Well, I can just stay right here, right? Alright, let's see. I knew it, I knew it. Okay. What? Oh god, alright, alright. I wasn't prepared for- oh god. Alright, rock and roll, baby. Oh god. Oh god. How am I gonna get over there? Got a very careful bubble jumps. No way. <laughs> he was pig vomit, yeah. I wonder why they called him pig vomit. Oh, I can I can block on those, sorry. When on um, the actual Howard Stern show, they called the guy pig virus. I wonder why they changed it to pig vomit. Maybe they thought it was funnier. This is another one of those places with like three key doors. And I don't know what this would lead to, but I just wanted the map completion. I don't know what the purpose of that is, to be honest. Watch out. Gotta be prepared. Alright. Alright, good, 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 good. Like, I'm only here for map completion. want his likeness in the movie yeah but it wasn't a, is that his likeness that uh, to be that particular nickname you know it's kind of weird fuck i'm gonna get killed i mean i guess it's fine if i do at this point but all right we got it yeah they renamed him and everything so i don't you know renaming is fine all right, should I be on the right side or the left side? The save point's on the right, so I kind of want think I should angle for over there. I don't know if it matters, though. We're, we're very close here, guys. Like, one more stretch. It didn't really matter all that much. Okay. Is it me, or does, like, this got easier? Like, it started out difficult and then got easier. I'm not looking to get killed by that, but... Damn it! That's what I was worried about. Well, alright, well, we, that sets me back a bit, but it's not that big of a deal. I got the map completion, and now I can go straight there. If I had, like, one extra health, that would have been fine, but... But it seems like this, this whole, like, final area gets easier. Whatever's over there can stay over there. <laughs> yep. And I think at least some of these puzzles gotta stay completed, right? Do the Roman numerals in the background mean anything? I, I think it's the floor of the place that you're on. Who is your favorite? contemporary director there that you're alluding to. That's the best guess, because they do seem to be going up. Alexander Payne. Good choice. Oh, but he goes, alright, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Shooty shoot. Alright, we good. Oh, that's a shame. I gotta say, my favorite director... Uh, it's tough. 
I like that Denny, I don't know how to pronounce him, you know, the Blade Runner, Arrival, Dune guy, and also Guillermo del Toro. This is the sixth floor up of this place, so I'm looking at the map. Well, yeah, it's what you said, one of your favorites. Oh, well, all right, it's fine, I made it. All right, cool. All right, we gotta make a stretch to the left and then up, and that's the final save point. We're at 96% map. There you go, at least as far as we know, but I've never heard anything like that about Del Toro. I wonder what this block is for. Oh no! You know what, it'd be faster to just death warp. Now I know what that block's for. I did like Alfonso Cuaron's movies, but yeah, I'm kind of done with him after learning all that I learned. Shit, just go. Nebraska? Okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. I'm scared of dropping down again, so... Yeah, usually when enemies won't step on it, that means it's not solid. That's typical game design. No, I don't need to see the state. Oh, here's a dude here. If you go left from here, you will find Solstice Mountain. Climb this ladder above when you are ready for your last battle. I just I want to go here for the map completion. Also, I should see if I can open this somehow, or because I believe this was closed off. All right, here we go. Not that that matters, but. We saw plenty of black and white Bob Odenkirk in the last season of Better Call Saul, right? That was fun. So, this should bring me right up into a save room. This is the final save room, guys. Let's go fight this final boss. I have all of the, um, whatchamacallums? The orbs, so this should be pretty easy. Vicar is very powerful, and not much is known about him. Attack his weak points for massive damage. Good luck. They went there. They went there. Here we are. You may finally come... You have finally come to face me. How courageous, but foolish. You can never defeat me. I control Alba, and you can never win. Your chip tune, I am the wind. Oh my god. How did you obtain all the ornaments? I must have underestimated you, but you are no match for my powers. He got full ass life bar. All right. Probably gonna take some. Okay, watch out! Watch out! Oh god! Oh god! He can do that. I am the wind on kazoo. I bet you that exists on on YouTube, right? I finally come. Well, the, orna the ornaments are the powers. The orbs are what reduces health. Dog dragon. All right, so he could appear there, he could appear there. I'm, I'm willing to bet he could probably appear up top at some point. Oh god, all right. What if I just whack him and then... D oh, okay. Oh god, okay, not good. Okay. You know what I could- The gun is fired. I could go get a well, uh, water, right? But... My dick is Nintendo hard, another... But... I wonder if it's a very predictable pattern of where he appears, right? Does he always go in the same order? Shooting doesn't seem to be useful. Oh, shit. Damn. 
he's up there. One, two. Ah, oh, man. Okay, okay, chill. I do seem to be doing a lot of damage when I do hit him, which is probably due to having all the orbs. It's doable. I could always go out to Solstice Mountain, look for well, and fill up, right? Too bad wells aren't, like, listed on my, uh, thing. It's not a pattern. didn't appear. Oh, hold on. It didn't appear on my end either. It might just be laggy. Okay, watch out. One, two, and three. Okay. Which side is going to be on? Alright. Twitch do be fucking up. Damn. Got him. Yo, that was easy because of all the orbs. I bet if I didn't have, like, all the orbs, it would have been way harder. Got that. That don't seem good. The inverse of Mecha Oh, it's setting up the sequel, because the sequel's in 16-bit. Right? It sets up the sequel. The graphics go all like Super Nintendo, right? Wake up, Zoe. The ethereal flame must be lit. What a fucking ending. That Fuck off, Elden Pixels. <laughs> fuck all the way off. I, I like the game overall, but that ending was bullshit. You wonder how they did the scene on the NES version? God, I'm curious about that too. Inspired by Battle Kid. Really? No, still a better ending than Nino Kuni. <laughs> Still a better ending. Because at least I understand what they're going for. They're like, alright, you know, play the second game, right? And I'm willing to bet there's probably something after the credits. How many grays does it take to change a light bulb? How could you not be mad at Nino Kuni? That was the most bullshit ending ever. Very special thanks. I did like the game. Overall, really good game, but that could have been a better ending. I think it was made in Sweden. <laughs> they made a third Nino Kuni. It's like a bullshit mobile game. I lost interest in Nino Kuni, to be honest with you. I was dedicated to somebody named Alva. I wonder where that's where it comes from. And I got Alva's Awakening, question mark? So I got all the orbs, took me nine hours, 100% man, 100% atoms, died 128 times. That don't seem too bad, to be honest. I don't know what first playthrough average is, though. All right, before we start EG, there's one thing I got to look at, right? I got to know how they handle that ending in the NES, tied, in the NES version of this, right? Let's see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna look it up on YouTube. 
All right, let's see. Alwa's Awakening NES Ending. Hmm. Okay, here's a speed run of the NES version. Let me just go to the end. The last boss room is completely different. I think it's the same last boss, but the room is much smaller. All right, she goes to the fountain, falls down. And then it's the same ending, just without the 16-bit graphics. They didn't change anything. I mean, because you really can't do that. And the dialogue's different. The guy says, hey, lady, wake up. All right. All right, guys. Let's um, let's switch over to EG. Right, that was fun. We'll end the recording.